Microsoft's announced plans to improve its Bing search engine to include artificial intelligence. GPT feature that allows users to easily build their own artificial intelligence assistants. AI language models are everywhere. OpenAI was the pioneer. And now Google has its own. Microsoft has its own. Meta has its own. And not only that, there are other companies that have come up with their very own good models. Now the question is, which one is for you? Because every model has its own competencies and choosing the right one can help you a lot. So, to discuss which tools suit you the best, we check out five renowned LLMs and explore their capabilities and core competencies. But before we help you make a decision, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as we strive hard to bring the latest and greatest from the world of AI. Number 5. ChatGPT by OpenAI The first member on this list is obviously ChatGPT. Now for this video, we will be focusing on the paid offerings, if any, so our viewers can make well-informed decisions on where they should spend their money. GPT-4 is OpenAI's premium offering. For those of you who don't know what GPT means, well, it stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, and by 4, the company highlights its fourth iteration. Launched in March of 2023, GPT-4 was a significant leap forward in the realm of AI chatbot capabilities, boasting a multifaceted nature that extends beyond text processing. Its expansive training dataset, compromising diverse sources such as books, articles, code repositories, and internet content, empowers GPT-4 to comprehend and generate human-quality text across various styles and formats. As per a recent update, GPT-4 can now provide real-time information like time, weather, etc. It can be used with event streaming to enable real-time generative AI, allowing it to have the latest information at each prompt and to interact with users in real time, such as in a chat session. If we compare it with competitors like Bard and Claude, ChatGPT-4's distinguishing feature lies in its multimodal prowess. Its understanding of visual information rendering it particularly suitable for tasks such as image captioning, object recognition, and even generating images based on textual descriptions outperforms others. Key competencies of GPT-4 encompass text generation in diverse formats, poems, code, scripts, music, emails, letters, with an authenticity often indistinguishable from human-created content. In comparison to competitors like Bard, Claude, Bing, and Llama, GPT-4 outshines them in various aspects. If we compare it with research-focused models like Claude, ChatGPT-4's accessibility through OpenAI API and the paid ChatGPT Plus service further enhances its availability. For potential users, GPT-4 is an attractive choice for those seeking a versatile and powerful language model. Whether the task involves creating writing, code generation, image analysis, or advanced question answering, GPT-4 proves itself to be a formidable option, which means that writers, coders, image processing experts, and real-time information gatherers can best benefit from what ChatGPT has to offer. But it is essential to acknowledge a certain limitation. Its inner workings are less transparent than some other models, posing a challenge to understanding how it arrives at its outputs. To end the discussion, like any AI model trained on vast datasets, ChatGPT-4 has the potential to inherit and perpetuate societal biases, urging users to approach its outputs with a cautious eye. Number 4. Claude by Anthropic Claude 2.0, developed by Anthropic AI, stands as a robust large language model distinguished by its proficiency across various tasks. Anthropic AI, the developer of Claude 2.1, is driven by a mission to create safe and beneficial artificial intelligence. Claude 2.1 is particularly adept at long-form, factual, and creative writing. The model excels in the generation of complex document summaries as well as crafting fiction, scripts, and poems. It also demonstrates prowess in code generation and debugging, showcasing its versatility in handling programming tasks in multiple languages. The model further distinguishes itself by providing insightful answers to complex questions, leveraging a deep understanding of rich contextual information gleaned from extensive datasets. The training of Claude 2.1 involves exposure to a vast corpus of text and code encompassing books, articles, code repositories, and web pages. 
Complex reasoning, creativity, thoughtful dialogue, and detailed content creation set it apart from other LLMs. The large context window of 200,000 tokens enables it to comprehend complex, long-form content effectively. The model exhibits reduced hallucination rates, contributing to improved factual accuracy and a diminished tendency to generate fictional information. Accessible through an API and a public beta website, Claude 2.1 is designed for use by both enterprise and individual users. For entry-level writers, marketers, and coders, this is a great option. According to the company, with its 2.1 version of Claude, researchers requiring deep context understanding such as academics, analysts, and data scientists also find value in Claude 2.1. The model also appeals to individuals seeking a powerful language tool for content creators, artists, and hobbyists. For people who want multimodality, this model is not for you, but it can still provide real-time information. While Claude 2.1 currently does not support Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, Anthropic is actively researching the integration of this technique into future versions of the model. In contrast to search-focused models like Bing and Llama, Claude's emphasis lies in advanced language generation and processing. Number three, Meta's Llama. Llama is a family of large language models developed by Meta AI. As of now, there are two versions available. Llama 2, a 137 billion parameter LLM released in 2023, designed for both research and commercial use, will be the one we discuss today. The training process for Llama and Llama 2 involved utilizing publicly available online data sources, such as text and code. It incorporates a chat version fine-tuned on dialogue datasets and human annotations. While Llama is capable of accessing and processing information in real time, it is not specifically optimized for real-time applications. Its key strengths lie in tasks such as text generation, code completion, and question answering. It supports retrieval augmentation generation, which means that it can combine the retrieval of relevant information from external sources with language generation. This proves particularly useful for tasks requiring factual accuracy. The core competencies of Llama include a focus on factual accuracy, strong capabilities in reasoning and logic, and proficiency in handling code-related tasks with good accuracy. This is also what distinguishes it from other models. Bard is generally good at creative text formats, but may not match Llama's strength in factual accuracy. Similarly, Claude from Anthropic AI shares capabilities with Bard, but emphasizes safety and interpretability. Bing from Microsoft AI is geared towards web search and factual tasks, while GPT from OpenAI excels in creative writing but may face challenges with factual accuracy and logical reasoning. Llama is recommended for researchers exploring foundational LLMs and RAG techniques, developers working on code-related tasks, and projects requiring high factual accuracy and information retrieval. From the angle of AI governance, things might not actually be so easy to explain. They talk a lot about it, but we all know about the history of Meta's glut for data. Number two, Google's BARD. BARD, like most large language models, is trained on a massive data set. This extensive data set named InfiniSet is designed to enhance dialogue capabilities, providing BARD with a robust foundation for its language processing abilities. The vast and diverse data in InfiniSet enables BARD to learn statistical patterns of language and predict the next probable word in a sequence. This pre-training phase is crucial in laying the groundwork for BARD's language understanding and generation abilities. One thing is for sure, Google updates BARD more often than other competitors. BARD can access and process real-time information through Google Search and other APIs, enabling it to provide responses that are up-to-date with current events and developments. BARD excels in engaging, open-ended, informative conversations on various topics. Its real-time information processing capabilities add depth to its responses. It demonstrates proficiency in text generation, creating diverse formats such as poems, code, scripts, and emails. It excels in accessing and summarizing information from various sources. In comparison to Llama 2, which focuses on factual language understanding and reasoning, BARD prioritizes engaging and informative dialogues. 
Claude, known for its creative writing, may struggle with accuracy in technical domains where Bard aims for factual correctness and effective handling of technical topics. Bing, specializing in web search and factual retrieval, has limited dialogue capabilities while Bard stands out in the conversational and information processing across various sources. GPT models recognized for their writing potential may lack factual accuracy and struggle with open-ended dialogues, whereas Bard strikes a balance between creativity and factual grounding, excelling at conversational interaction. So, who should consider Bard? BARD is recommended for individuals seeking engaging and informative conversations on diverse topics. It is also suitable for users in need of assistance with creative writing, text generation, and information summarization. Professionals looking for an AI assistant to handle research, data analysis, and communication tasks can benefit from BARD's versatile capabilities. It's meant to be used like Google, and anyone can access it for free. Number 1. Microsoft's Bing Chat Bing Chat, initially powered by a next-gen OpenAI language model, now uses Microsoft's Prometheus model, customized for web search and edge browser integration. Recent updates emphasize improved safety, factual accuracy, and expanded capabilities in Skype and Edge sidebar. The system focuses on real-time information retrieval, leverages web searches, and integrates with Edge for contextual responses. While it's unclear if Bing Chat uses RAG explicitly, its emphasis on accuracy and real-time updates suggests the presence of underlying reasoning mechanisms. Bing Chat is recommended for users relying on Microsoft products, seeking accurate and up-to-date information, and preferring a functional, task-oriented AI assistant. Bing Chat, or Copilot, is an altogether different thing because it is not about generating long text. It gives users a new way to investigate Windows operating system. And with this tool, you can summarize articles, toggle settings, create documents, design presentations, create images, and maintain spreadsheets. It's more like Windows' own version of Siri, and it's meant to streamline your overall computer usage experience, if you're a Windows user. Every Windows user should check it out because it can get a lot done in seconds, which initially took hours. Which LLM will work best for you? Please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more news and updates from the world of AI. Do you want to know about the drama that unfolded at OpenAI back in November of 2023? Click on the video link popping up and we'll see you there in a second. See ya!